Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you an insane XP farm. Now, I don't think anyone's actually made a video on this method and it is definitely a really good one. If you're struggling to level up your season pass this season or you just need them extra power levels, this is definitely the way to do it guys. Trust me, you'll be able to get your season pass up very quickly with today's method. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe drop a like down below and with that said let's jump straight into the method massive shout out to blazing boost for answering today's video if you guys need to get anything destiny 2 related if you're struggling with any end game content this is a place to check out they offer a sherpa service which will mean you won't get banned for using this service like other sites that use recovs this is a sherpa service where someone will go through the raid teach you how to do it so then you can teach other people now they have a trust pilot with over 30,000 reviews, all 5 star, and if you do use Unstoppable 7 at checkout, you will get a 7% discount. So pretty much guys, if you want to boost the XP gains from this method, I'd recommend going over to the gunsmith and picking up every single bounty that he has, even the additional ones. It's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to gain you a lot more XP. So as you can see, we've filled up our inventory with gunsmith bounties, and for this method, all we're going to want to do is head on over to destinations, we're going to head on over to Neptune, we're going on to the classic campaign and what we're going to do is load up the breakneck. Now you can do it on legendary but classic is a lot easier, especially if you're solo and I believe it's the same XP throughout. So if someone could test it on legendary and classic and let me know down in the comment section if the XP is the same for doing it on each difficulty. But for the purpose of the video I'll be doing it on classic so I can run through it quickly and show you exactly where the farm does in fact start. So once we get to the bit where the farm starts, all you're going to want to do is run through the mission as quickly as possible until you get to the certain bit, which I'll show you right now. Right guys, so once you get to this spot right here where you can actually place a rally banner, which is really handy, especially for doing obviously the gunsmith bounties, all you're going to want to do is pick a bounty to do this run. So we'll do one right now to show you that it does work. As you can see, void weapon, we've got um, the funnel web on. So we're going to rally the banner, get his ammo back, and all we're going to do is simply come to this bit, and as you can see, all these ads are going to spawn right here and all we're going to do is kill them as quickly as possible now you can do this in a fire team however solo obviously you will be getting more ads as you can see that's that bounty completed so what we're going to do is show you so now if you were to farm it obviously for the purpose of the video i'm going to run through it all these ads spawn up here so we'd be changing weapons getting the bounties done as most efficiently as possible then we can run in here and even more enemies are going to spawn so as you can see the amount of kills you get from this method and from our xp bar is absolutely insane and it's definitely one of the fastest methods all you need to do is kill everything in this room as quickly as possible to make sure you're getting the max xp for your time and all we're going to do you see this yellow wyvern do not kill the yellow wyvern we're going to kill everything else in this room and once you've killed everything else, all we're going to do is let this Wyvern kill us as quickly as he can. And then as you can see, what's going to happen is we're going to respawn. And we are actually, in fact, going to be able to rinse and repeat this method for quick XP, bounties, anything you guys need. It's a good way to level up your weapons as fast as possible because you do get a rally banner. So for me, it's just a faster Shurichi checkpoint. And to be honest, it does work a little bit better in my opinion than the most famous one, the obviously Last Wish one that a lot of people know about. So it is a new one, especially for new players that have come to Lightfall. This is definitely the best spot to do this sort of farming and it is probably going to stay like that for a while. I'll try and find a new one, guys, if I can. But as always, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Like I said, 
if someone wants to try it out on legendary and compare it to the classic mission let people know in the comment section if you do get more xp or not because i haven't tested that myself yet but i thought i would share it with you guys and as always leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one